What's up, what's going on guys? It's your boy Crimson Dragon and here back at it again with some more uh, EA Sports UFC 4 Fire Showcase for UFC 264. Gilbert Dorino Burns. Uh, last time I played as Jorge. Ah, oh, pfft, Jorge. Last time I played as Steven Thompson where we fought against pretty much Jorge Masvidal's the whole video. Um, yeah, man. Uh, pretty lame. So... Good thing Gilbert Burns is also in lightweight, so that way we hopefully we don't run into too many Jorge Masvidal's this time around. Um, well, actually, Jorge Masvidal is in lightweight as well. Let's see if the Jorge Masvidal demon stalks me today. <laughs> Let's get into the first fight, man. Next, it's a lightweight bout between All right, here we go. We got Dustin Poirier versus Gilbert Burns. We finally found somebody who's of a high level in quick fight. So this is going to be pretty interesting. Although not that interesting, I guess, because he picked Dustin Poirier. You always have that fighter, like I say in a lot of my videos, you always have that fighter that everybody picks. Oh, man. It whiffed. It whiffed. It, that whiffed. Ever Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the defense. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Poirier gets hit. There you go. I'll try to take him down. Oh, and there's a takedown. <laughs> My legs were wrapped. My arms were wrapped around his leg. Let's see if we can get this arm bar right here. I am Gilbert Burns. It should work out in my favor. But as you can see, I'm literally a jiu-jitsu fighter. This is what I should excel at. But look at my bar. Look at his bar. Look at mine. Oh my goodness gracious. Offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half row. Absolutely more offensive options because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestling stand up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand That fight, uh, that kick I mean was too far. But it's so much more free flowing than a half guard in the side control because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free. So you have more freedom to use yours. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Dustin Corey. Just gotta be patient. Dorino gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Liver kick. There we go. Now we got it. Ah, oh, I didn't defend. Wow. Jump up and down. Am I watching the Olympics or a big martial arts fight? You don't see single legs this good unless you're watching a real high level wrestler. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. He's trying to get me into a brawl. Look at how he turns his fist over. Huge right hand! Alright, well, there we go. Let's see what we can do here. I think that round was mine. He's he's dwindling quickly. So as long as I can just keep my patience and just knock on his stamina, I should be fine. But Dustin... I think I know how this guy is perceived as good. Oh, 
that beautiful straight left that he throws over and over. Oh! He's, oh! He's, He's just throwing hooks. Like I said, just be patient. Your opportunity will come. The opportunity will come. And he lands. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Now goes in and there we go. Ah, oh, definitely the wrong direction. Oh, what? I guess not. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Nice. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Well, he was a little bit low. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. That was a jab. Slips. That one was <laughs> you guys saw that. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, that was a nice kick, though. Oh, hell no. I'm going to get stopped by this dude. No way am I going to get stopped by this dude. Nope. No way. Five seconds remain in the round. Back to the feet. Oh, beautiful level change. I can't just stop him from doing that. I definitely can deny that transition. I definitely denied that one though. I think since he's landing a lot more damage than me, I think he's actually winning the fight. So I think, weirdly enough, I need to finish right now. Not weirdly, because he's using Dustin Poirier. So. But I have to get a finish definitely right now. Oh, man. All right. Here we go. You gonna fake glove touch me again? Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body. Really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Burns gets touched by that kick there. All oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Got him down. He's hurt bad. Oh, big knee. Back to the feet. But did not get him out. Just out of range with that strike. <laughs> Come on. Let's see if it's up. It'll finally start to exhaust him if he constantly goes up. Alright, there we go. We got the leg lock. Burns is trying to lock up on a submission now. The problem with rolling leg lock in MMA, man, is you get beat up, especially if you're there should be a definite submission. He should be defending right now. Am I actually fighting for this submission right now?
look at his stamina. Oh, okay. I was about to say, no way. Is he going to get out of this right now? But you know what? He almost did. He has half the stamina that I do. And if that, his stamina was completely drained. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I don't know, man. Quick Fight is such a weird place. Uh... The entire I don't think I can take it. This good in the I think I'm gonna have to end this video right here. You guys are probably gonna only see this fight. But, uh... Because it was the only fight against a decent leveled player. But it's not even like he was that good. He just threw hooks with Dustin Poirier. So, it, you can't even say he was good. Um... Can't believe I almost got stopped by him though several times. Several times that I'm curious. I'm, I definitely know I was losing the fight. I definitely know that I had to get a uh, finish of some kind. But uh, I just, I don't know if, um, like, I get I wasn't getting the knockdowns. But was I winning in other aspects? I don't know. I actually got more knockdowns. I did not notice this. Probably because of, um... The five times he wobbled me, I probably thought I got knocked down. But I guess when you're in the fight, you kind of forget sometimes what you did. You only focus on what the other guy did. But, uh, yeah, man. This goes to show you that you don't always have to use the top players in the division. You know what I mean? Or top fighters in the division. You simply just play you, play the character to how you know the character is supposed to be played. Believe in the process. And you can beat these 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 top guys in the division. Like Dustin Poirier. He's one of the top in the game. But I beat him with Gilbert Burns. Who in this division is not even in the top 15. So, I don't know man. This just, it proves to you. Just pick other people. You know. Just pick other people. It's fine. Just pick somebody else, man. Like, this goes out to all you guys out there who pick TJ Dillashaw at flyweight. You pick Purion at bantamweight. You pick Max Holloway at featherweight. You pick Dustin Poirier at lightweight. You pick Jorge Masvidal at welterweight. You pick... I don't even know who's the best guy at, at middleweight. Probably, uh, like, Robert Whitaker. I would say, um, this goes out to the guys who, who picked DC or John Jones at, uh, at lightweight, no, light heavyweight, goes out to those who picked John Jones at heavyweight, pick somebody else, just because of the best division doesn't mean you have to use them all of the time, definitely pick somebody else, alright, but that's about it guys, I'm only gonna probably upload this one fight for today. Uh, I'll definitely see if I can get a longer showcases with uh, Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier. But uh, yeah, for now, um, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, hope you guys learned something. <laughs> hope you guys have a fantastic day. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace! Peace.